Hi, and welcome to this Bass Labs Fishing Freeview. Today we're checking out the Pro's Top Secret Jig by Terminator. I recently saw these on sale and I scooped up a whole bunch of them because they are one of my favorite jigs. They are um, really nice uh, in a lot of different features. First and foremost, I like uh, the orientation of like, this line tie. Um, mostly for its versatility uh if i was gonna flip something very heavy then i or grass then i prefer the uh i guess you'd call it the vertical oriented line tie um but this horizontal one i feel like it's nice for um <clears throat> more a little bit sparser because when you pull it um it'll pull in that regardless of where it is on the line tie it should pull in that uh, that at that angle versus if it's up and down that that line tie can get uh, I mean your line can slide up and down and it changes kind of the, the orientation when you pull it but uh, so these are nice in that fashion another thing I really like about that is it, it makes it nice for um, making chatter baits uh, for example I threw on a eyelet and a, a blade and I turn this uh, Terminator jig into uh, a rattle trap and it works very well caught a lot of fish on this um, so you get that option too and they also work well as a swim jig a general swim jig the uh, shape of the heads um, conducive to that and sometimes the shape of the heads of some of these jigs are a little bit different as you can see here so this one has a slightly broader uh, nose, and uh, this one has a slightly sharper nose. Um, but for all intents and purposes, they're basically the same. Uh, these are the 3 8 ounce. This is June bug color. It's like a olive almost uh, yeah olive color there's a few watermelon strands in here and then some purple and it looks really nice <clears throat> a lot of different colors uh, very intricate actually now that I look at it again it's it's a pretty complex uh, scheme I like that a lot um, traditional black blue but for their 3 8 um, it's actually a black, blue, purple. Um, I'm, I love black and blue. Uh, but this purple, it actually looks pretty nice. Um, I don't think it would hurt it. I, I, would, I, I didn't have the same amount of confidence on this as I would a, a regular black and blue. And here is a black and brown. And the cheddar bait, uh, I think it's like a green pumpkin, pumpkin, green pumpkin color scheme. Some orange on top, green pumpkin on the bottom. Uh, I also have the white, which is some white strands and a few clear black uh, striped strands. And then here's a half ounce black blue, and that's just traditional black and blue. Um, <clears throat> so I like these, a few other reasons why I like these are um, the price, they're pretty affordable. Um, for, for the extra little perks like the recessed line tie and the, I like the head shape a lot. Um, <clears throat> some of these skirts have like a, a texture to them, like I can, there you can kind of see it, um, which is cool. I mean I don't think it's the greatest thing ever but like for example this one doesn't um, but I think it's a nice little touch uh, you also get these pretty cool rattles this double double rattle uh, collar with two rattles on it um, and this hook they always come pretty sharp um, and the hook is fairly high gauge it's not like it's not a uh, no jack hook it's there's a point which it would open up but uh, it seems like it would take a lot to open it up. It's not, um, 
a little light wire gauge hook. Uh, and last but not least, this wire, uh, I mean this um, trailer keeper, you see here this wire trailer keeper, is um, a nice touch. It keeps trailers on generally better than just the, uh, the um, I guess the cone or the hook uh, style. But one thing I will say that's kind of a pin in the butt is like when they <clears throat> attached it to the head, they just had a, a single piece of the wire going straight in. And that's okay for a while, like brand new, this is great. Um, but every single one I've ever had, it eventually falls out um, if you throw it enough. Uh, I wish they would have had just an extra little bend for some more bite. But other than that, I mean, even without it, it works fine. It's probably better with a the chunk then anyway. Or um, maybe you throw in a chatterbait. Like this one. Actually, this one, it, it fell off right. So, but it actually still holds this uh, plastic on pretty nicely. All right, let's see how long these bad boys are. So just the head is about half an inch. And then nose to end of hook is about 1.8 inches from the top of the brush guard to the bottom of the head is about a little over one and a half inches. So it's a pretty uh, small profiled uh, jig. <clears throat> Be half ounce any bigger. Half ounce is just slightly larger head, which makes sense. Um, let's see how much. So here's a three quarter ounce. Okay. Looks about right. Are the same. You have to keep in mind that these uh, rattles are going to change the weights a little. Okay, great. So, um, I can't say enough good things about these jigs. Uh, whenever I get a chance to pick up um, some, I uh, always try to get a handful. Um, all the colors are pretty cool. Now they all have their place, but you know you can't you can't ever really go wrong with, especially black and blue. In my opinion, black, blue, purple is cool. Uh, black and brown. That's also I, another color I'd feel extremely confident throwing. But you know even this June bug. That's a that's a pretty nice color. Um, I think I'd work in a lot of maybe a little bit more stained conditions. Uh, or maybe if you're imitating, um, you know, there's crayfish that look like this as well. But maybe like a bluegill or some sort of panfish might be better for this color. Same with this uh, green pumpkin orange. Although, again, there's crayfish that look like this too. But, <clears throat> alright, until next time, thanks for checking out this free view. Come back, check out our other ones.